because I didn't know how to read cards, but I was reading uh, as a casino deal dealer in the past, so I thought that's educational. I think I'm supposed to be here today. So how do you go about doing a reading? With tarot cards, mm -hmm. and they're pictured cards. Um, they have pictures, mm -hmm. and they have meanings and I would just read the pictures without words and I would put the story together. The person I'd be reading for would select these cards. I would not select them. Okay. I'd give their story and they would relate to that story and put things together. Really? And answers and things would just come and our energies would come together and things would happen. What are the reactions you get from people who you do readings for? I mean, are they surprised at you that this stuff comes out? Do they say, no, that's not true? For the most part, they do say that it's all true, and I accept what their answers are. However, I just go with it, and I just tell them what I see. And are they, they surprised though, yes. what you see? Yes, they are surprised because they don't know me. They don't know, it's the first time that we've met. That's interesting to actually, so how, how are you doing these readings in knowing these things about them or being accurate? It's the pictures, it's the cards that people select. See, I think that's what I, I don't people know. don't understand. Maybe unless they get it done themselves, then you'd be like, then maybe people would understand where it comes from. Because to me, I'm thinking, wait, how is that possible? How do you, how do you know that stuff without knowing that stuff? I let people know that cards is not a guidance. It's just a tool. I don't need cards to do a reading. So how do you do it without cards? I just tap into your energy and just having you in front of me I'll just go into through a horoscope and that's how it begins. Really? So could you do a reading like right here or have you just met someone for five minutes and been able to do a reading? I could do a reading right now. No that's okay. I don't, I don't know if I want on camera what the reading would be. That would be me taking it. <laughs> risk and the, I don't oh that would be scary well see but see this is how it all develops you start I started with people that I knew first family then friends and then it just opened up to other areas and okay I don't want to put pressure on you but if you feel like you want to do a reading I don't want to stop you from doing a reading right here because I can face my fears head-on no problem but I don't want to put the pressure on you and say hey do a reading for me right now because I, I can imagine that's a lot of pressure. So if you feel like it, feel free. If you don't, that's okay. You're not going to offend me or hurt me <laughs> in any way. Well, first of all, I need your permission to do so. Okay. And in doing so, you're letting me access to your energy. Okay. And with that, I could begin to receive. And first of all, I do ask God to help me with this and all the angels and all the master guides and that's how I'm surrounded with my intuition. Right. Um, I will first begin asking you with your horoscope sign. With your horoscope sign, I will tune into your energy. I'm a Virgo. A Virgo, okay. Being that you're the sign of Virgo, you are a very caring, loving person, loves to help people. You give everybody. You love making people laugh. And people want to be around you because you come in like the sun. It shines. People notice you when you walk in the door. And you're basically center of attention in a lot of areas, personal and business. You will help others more than you will help yourself. You're very sensitive. You have a very strong knowing as well. And you love animals, especially dogs. Are all these things true? Everything but the animal thing. Okay. I don't, well, that's interesting because I don't, I'm not a big animal person, but I had a family dog recently that passed away and I didn't like to me it was 
I can leave or take him, it doesn't matter. But when he passed away, I was crying for days on end, on end. And so I guess I didn't realize how much that particular dog meant to me. But The reason I say that you're in tune with animals is because you understand animals. Mm. Sometimes through the personalities. Animals, they have a personality mm -hmm. too. And we could understand people if we can understand animals. Mm. So it takes time to do that practice and uh, that's that's pretty good everything else was pr really accurate and when I'm not accurate Jessica I'm okay with that too because I'm only human and I yeah. make mistakes <laughs> of, course. <laughs> of course no but that was I mean everything you were saying I was like oh okay yeah 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 that's really interesting and you get that all just from energy mm -hmm. yes energy that's impressive. And to access energy, I need permission through the person, the right. party I'm reading for. So if they say, no, I don't want you to access, do you shut yourself off? Do yes. You... Yes, because I'm not allowed to enter. So I, really? I yes. How do you and shut yourself off? How are you able to do that? I just block. It's, you have to know your body. Like right. I said, intuition is your mind, body, and spirit. So you have to block yourself and, and not you just completely shut yourself. That's interesting that you're able to do that, and that would take someone who's in tune with everything in themselves to be able to do that, because I don't think I could, you know, block parts of you off, or myself off in that way. Mm -hmm. So what do you want people out there to know about you or about intuition? What message do you want to send people? I would have to say that there are many people out there that have this gift, and if anything, you can have the ability to help others. And in helping others, you'll make better decisions within yourself in all areas of your life because life is a journey. And with that, you will be able to become a better person. But I think it's important you say help others because in helping others, you're also helping yourself. Exactly. You're making yourself feel better and hopefully live better by knowing that you're doing well with other people. Yes. Thank and you we, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today on Jessica. If you have any questions or comments about Van Doren, please feel free to email me in the email that is provided. And we all need to keep in tune with our intuition and feel free to actually meet with someone, speak with someone who can actually pick up on your energy and get a reading. Thanks for joining us today. See you next time on Jessica.